So it was a lot of investing advice, not investing advice. So 44% of my portfolio is in Hello Group or Momo. So the ADR is American Depository Receipts, I think. Um, on May 23rd, I got, in that one day, I got $9,752.40 in dividends because it's when they had the special dividend because they pay a special dividend. They don't pay quarterly. They just decided to, for the last five years, I think, or something, to just pay an annual dividend. So that's pretty cool that they've done that. They hiked it like 15% or so since like last year. So it's nice that they hike and reward shareholders. Um, I mean, it's extremely risky to have 44% of my portfolio in one stock, but I think it's worth it for me. I think it's a good idea for me because it's just such a... I bought it at $7.92 on average, so it's just so cheap relative. I'm literally getting like a 9%, I said in my other video earlier, that I get a 9% dividend, which is pretty crazy. Um, and so $9,752.40 in one day is a lot, but that's still like compared to other companies, a 9% dividend is really good. Plus, um, they look like they recently stabilized their operations, specifically Tantan. Which is hemorrhaging cash for the longest period of time. So, that's a really good plus. And, that's basically, I'm going to continue to hold this stock. I'm not going to sell a single share. I'm going to continue to take the dividends. Even though they haven't bought back basically any shares, but I'll still continue to hold them. I mean, they're a really good company. They have high free cash flow, high profit margins. Yeah, the sales are down this year, like 15% or so, but that's what I'm going to continue to do. I think it's the right move for me. So that's what I'm going to continue to do. I mean, it could be wrong. I mean, you have no idea about what Xi Jinping's going to do. He could ban streaming. He could ban anything. I mean, there's no guarantees with China. I mean, it's that's why it's so hard. That's why the chops are, that's why the stocks are trash. That's why nobody wants them. That's why it pays 9%. That's why... Joy pays 7% because it's seen as extremely risky right now. Every month people are divesting, especially since January. You've seen their their equities have been completely annihilated. So I'm going to continue to own this stock. Um, could it be the wrong decision? Yeah. Could it be completely destroyed by Xi Jinping? Yeah. Could it be nationalized? Yeah. Could this go to zero? Yeah. Could I lose 44% of my portfolio in one stock? And it go to zero? Absolutely. But... I guess it's a risk I'm willing to take, and I'm deciding um, that I think it, you know, I mean, it pays 9%. I don't know many stocks that pay 9%, so I think that overall it's a good decision, but we'll see what happens. I mean, it takes a long time um, for this to get sorted out, and we'll see what happens, because it looks like the crackdowns have kind of stopped, but we'll see what he decides to continue to do. I mean, there still is a lot of tension um, geopolitically, geopolitically between the U.S. and China, and it continues to ramp up and ramp up and ramp up. But at the same time, like I said in another video, he invited Elon Musk, they invited business leaders. It's just weird because he's giving, like, militarily he's attacking, or not attacking, just being aggressive with the U.S., but at the same time, he's inviting business leaders to try to show he's business-friendly, but he's not completely cracking down yet. There haven't really been that many more crackdowns, per se, but it's just like, now it's just like military conflict with the United States, not so much anymore like the economic crackdown. So we'll see what happens.